Guys, this is Mr. Joshua J, and this is a Formula One review video. So, right, the big news is from McLaren is that Jensen Button and Fernando Alonso will line up together in 2015. Now, what is my reaction to that lineup? What a lineup, man! Jensen Button and Fernando Alonso in the same team. That is going to be absolutely fantastic. I just hope it works out for the both of them. I just hope it's not like 2007 all over again with Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso because they did not get on well at all, them two. Ever since what Alonso did at Budapest when he held Hamilton up in the pit lane deliberately, that is when they fell out. But... I really hope it works out for Button and Hamilton. Now, do I think McLaren Honda could challenge Mercedes? I do. If they can sort out the teaming problems with the engine they're having, because over at Abu Dhabi, both days it broke down. They only managed five laps, so they got a lot of work to do. But it's a good job that they're testing it early, so they make sure... Is ready for next season, but I think they can challenge the Mercedes. Also, I gotta say, I love the sound in the McLaren Honda makes, even with the turbo, it makes more noise than what the rest of the other A6 cars do. So that is really good. I really hope they stick to that exhaust system the McLaren Honda has got. You know the turbo. I really hope they stick with that sounds because it sounds much louder than the rest of the V6 cars out on that grid. Now Bernie Eccleston has said he wants to bring the screaming V8 engines back into Formula 1 which to be honest would be a great idea. I feel from the smaller teams like Caterham, Salba Force India, I feel they should have a choice what engine they like. If they can't afford these new V6 power units, they should have the option of running V8 with curves and the DRS. And the big teams should stick with the V6 power units with the energy recovery system, ERS. But find a way of turning the cars up a little bit. You know, each new V6 turbos, they sound okay. I quite like the sounds they make, but to be honest, they could do turning up a bit. They still, they sound okay, but they're still not loud enough for me. Which I think it's a good idea that they should turn them up a bit, but as for the lower teams, they should have the option of being able to run the V8 engine with curves. Them having their own little competition, the back while the rest in front are having their own competition with the V6 power units. There, problem solved. That is the only way it's going to solve this costing crisis, you know. Teams are meeting next week on the 18th with Bernie Eccleston the FIA to discuss. Now teams want to find a way to develop in their engine during the 2015 season because they're hoping to do it during the 2014 season but Mercedes blocks it. They said no you're not doing in-season engine developments which to me is a bit they can't really do that it's up to FIA and teams Christian Horner has suggested F1 should switch back to V8 engines or make a twin turbo V6 for more noise. But Mercedes, if Formula 1 goes back to V8 engines or an eight alternate engines, they are threatening to quit the sports. Which to me, that sounds really odd because the start of the year, Mercedes were the only team putting in the effort to try and make these V6 cars louder, you know, but that is a bit over the top, I think, for the 
sake into small teams and if teams are finding it hard with these new P6 fire units then please just bring back the P8 engine you know because this is the only way it is going to solve the spending cost it is that's just it besides us fans into small teams had the P8 engines we would be able to hear that amazing sound you know with four or five V8s cars out on the track they will still make more noise than those V6 power units they really will but you know I can understand Christian Horner's ideas he's trying to help save teams money and he's hoping Red Bull can challenge Mercedes again I think next season Mercedes are going to take some stopping again but Hopefully, if they can find other teams and rivals can find a way of doing in-season engine developments, then we are going to get more competition because, i got to say, I'm absolutely delighted Lewis Hamilton won this year's World Championship. He was absolutely amazing. All year, he's been driving absolutely fantastic. Farley deserves this year's world title. Rosberg, I felt a bit sorry for him in the last race of the season because we were hoping to be more in a competition, but with an ERS failure, Rosberg was unable to keep up with Hamilton's face. But Mercedes told Rosberg to come in with two laps to go and retire, but Rosberg said, no, I want to finish the race. So Mercedes went, they said, stand by. And then they said, we are happy for you to continue. So Rosberg finished the race and he congratulated Lewis Hamilton just before he went up to the podium. Mercedes absolutely in the league and their own this year. They really were. And Toto Wolff deserves credit. And Nicky Louder. But I mean, what they say about quitting sort and have one changes engines. I mean, come on, Mercedes. You really gonna do that? Look at Fulner E. That is that is off to impressive starts, you know. They got electric cars. I like the sound their cars make. But Fulner E and Fulner One they should be both ran different ways, you know. Formula E is doing its own stuff and Formula 1 should be able to do its own stuff. Let teams decide in a meeting what engine they would like to run. You know, because so mean, this is the only way it's going to solve the issue. In the comments, please put down your thoughts and your opinions. What engines do you think Formula 1 should use? Do you think V8 should return? Or do you think V8 should be used by the smaller teams and V6 should stay for the bigger teams? Let me know in the comments below. Or, what was your favourite engine? Did you like the sound of the V10? Because V10 was a beast. That engine was amazing. When I played the F1 2002 game, just to listen to that Ferrari sing away, even when I was being lapped, so I just enjoyed listening to that Ferrari sound, that V10 sound. Just amazing in F1 2002 game. Okay, bye-bye.